Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you how to make the phone pouch. Um, so this have a few pieces of fabric in, in here and there. So whenever I go, I'm sharing with you what fabric go in next. I'm not going to go like two of this, three of that. And you know, that's a lot to um, confusing. So I have here the main side of the fabric. This is the Japanese fabric for the main side. And this is six in three quarter of an inch by eight inches long. Okay. And the interface in here, I use number 809 and I cut six in and a quarter by seven inch and half. Now I'm going to iron on the back side of the main fabric. So now after that, I'm going to place on the side. Here I have the fabric that I cut 2 inches wide and 4 inches long. And I fold a quarter of an inch on the top and a quarter of an inch on the bottom. And I iron it and then after that, I fold it in half. You can you can iron it, and then you're going to bring this back, and I'm going to add this in right in the center of the mark right there. So this in the quarter off and in. So after I sew on this, I also cut the same side six inches and three quarter of an inch by eight inches and i have this on the solid color i'm going to place the right side up facing this right side so this straight line a quarter of an inch or follow the interfacing okay so you're going to turn into the right side so now you go on the top stitch right on the top here okay and i also cut in here that two fabric right here this is two inch and a quarter by two inch and a quarter i fold a quarter up an inch on each side and then i fold it back on just like this now you go on to sew the top and the bottom and i have two top and the bottom all right so everyone after i sew on these two and this too. So I have the two. I'm using the the ring right here, and I'm going to just get ready. Put it together like this. Just move the clip over so my octopus hand don't. I have octopus hand, everyone. Sometimes I don't pay attention. All right. So now I'm gonna do this too, and then put on the side, and then we're going to do the next one. Okay, so this one is put on the side. I'm going to put this on the side and we're going to move on to the next one. So here I have two in the facing. And this is six in and a quarter by eight and a half inch. And I have two, okay? Here I have two fabric. And I'm using the white. Look at this fabric, everyone. Look closely. So cute. Beautiful. And it's a hundred percent cotton fabric that I purchased in uh, the, my local fabric store. So in the uh, the fabric side here, that six in and three quarter of an inch by nine inches. Okay, and now you have to interface and you go into places. Okay, so you can have a quarter of an inch all around. When you iron, make sure you turn the iron into medium, medium. You don't turn it too high because when you turn it too high, it's going to burn. Um, not burn, but it misshapes the um, the interface. Okay, medium, medium. I am this on the back side of the, the white fabric. Okay, so everyone, after I iron these two, put one away. I'm going to work on one and bring in this piece back and place it in here on the bottom of this. Make sure everything meet up on the bottom up. 
and whatever left on the top let it be like that okay just want to clip the bottom here so it can stay down there for me and then on the top of the white one one inch And do you ask the, the the fabric right here, the, the ring right here, okay? So you go on to place this on the two inch that, I mean one inch that you mark right there. Okay, everyone. So I have the tag right here. You don't need to use it if you don't have it. You can just skip this part, okay? So on the bottom, on the left side up, about two and a half inch, I'm gonna add that in. Just right at the, the side, exactly like that. No extra, just like that. Clip it together. Now we go into, so usually when I sew a thing like that, I usually clip, I mean pin in the middle. Just one like that, okay? Now you're going to sew. You're gonna sew this top one, just sew that right in. And this one right here, you sew it in. A quarter of an inch, okay? And then on the side here, that where the blue, start from the blue, a quarter of an inch seam allowance, you're gonna sew all the way down, all the way on the bottom and all the way up and stop where the blue is so everyone after i sew on this now you have something like this okay let's put this away we're working on one piece remember we have two of the white one we have one right here and i have measure from the top down two and a half inches we're going to cut that out After you're cutting this out, you go on to turn into like the, um, the interface inside. Hold in the middle. I'm going to mark the center right here. Remember the a quarter of an inch down here, leave it alone but mark on the interface. Same thing to this one. Mark the center on the side for now and here i have the um i don't have the five inches zipper so i measure the five inches from here and then an extra um just for safety i i, I have an extra about a half an inch and then right here at the five and a half inch i mean at the five inch i sold it zipper at the end just the same thing like this and i sold it together okay and at the end right here from the beginning of the zipper I go into sew this close so easy when I sew the zipper. And I'm cutting okay. I'm gonna fold it in half okay I just cut the side so I know that the center okay Bring this back in, bring it back in here, and this is the, the interface inside, the right side. We're going to ask the, the zipper, okay? 
to that the zipper you're gonna put in this way the zipper down okay and make sure it go right into the one that you cut in here and meet in the line one right there i want to sew this side in You're gonna sew this side. So everyone, after I sew on this in here, I also have another piece of fabric right here. And this side is 6 inch and 3 quarter of an inch by 12 inches long, okay? So I'm going to fold it in the center, just mark the center. Fold it in half just to mark the center. You're going to play the center with the center of the zipper. You're going to sew the straight line from here to here. Okay. So everyone after I sew on this line. So for the symbol thing I don't show you. Right, so top stitch this side right here everyone so after i top stitch from here you're going to bring the small piece that you cut earlier this one right here that the center in the center where we cut the zipper okay you're going to face it down So this line is one eight of an inch so on the top. Alright, so everyone after I sew on this one right here, you're gonna bring this one up. Clip this. It's extra work but it's perfect. Okay, after you clip in together like this. On this side, there's the line right here already. You're going to follow that line and you're going to sew this in. Okay, so after I sew on this one right here. This one right here, fold it up. You're gonna top the, the uh, this part right here, that side right there, just like that. So everyone, after I top stitch this line, and this is this piece, okay? Let's just put this away, and we'll go on to work on the front side first, okay? I have it here nine inches zipper. Let's cut it, fold it in half. Okay, so it's like this everyone and I'm going to face the zipper down And I'm going to place it right here. So you're going to make sure that so you're going to face the zipper pull down, okay? And you're going to place in here make sure that side by side like this the nine inches zipper you can get I'm um, checking my description box. I have the whole thing. Where is it? Yeah, I got it here because I make a lot of things like this, like a hundred of them. This is, um, yeah, a hundred nine inches. All different colors. Super cheap. I don't know how much, but it's really cheap. I am only share when it's cheaper than the store. I don't see the store sale on the whole thing. So clip it like that, and then you go on the turn in the back side. You follow this. You go on to sew. So everyone after I sew on this in. Yeah, I have two fabric and I cut the same, the white one. It's the right side. Beautiful. 
and I have cut two of these and the size is six in and three quarter of an inch by nine inches long I'm taking one out the right side facing the right side in the back I turn in the back because there's a light here follow this light and sew all the way down everyone after we sew on the line we go on turn into the right side here open this up like this okay and then press when you do that you go on to make sure that the sew the the fabric behind facing down here okay you iron this You go in the top step from here all the way, all the way down, okay? So everyone, after I top step in this side, I'm going to bring this piece back. This one with the pocket, okay? And the zipper like this. Remember, facing the zipper up, the right side up on both. Okay, this is the right side. We're going to bring it down to this way. We can open this up if you want to make it easier. Just bring this out. And it's like this, okay? I leave a little bit at the end of the zipper like that. We're going to start sewing. Make it easier. You're going to sew here all the way. Okay, so everyone, after I sew on this here, and the zipper underneath here, so I'm going to place the other side of the fabric right on top. Turn into this side. You can see the zipper in here that we just sew. You can follow this line and sew it in. Alright, after you sew on the, the zipper, you're going to turn it to the right side. This one, take this away. You're going to iron this. same like this okay same thing you're gonna top stitch this side top stitch this okay the one right. after i top stitch in this part right here now we're going to take the right side to the right side in the not the right side to the right side the main fabric to the main fabric and the lining to the lining and make sure here everything meet up right in the center right here okay where the zipper is on top and bottom as my kid playing game again okay so now we're going to make sure everything meet up together like that all around we're going to clip it I leave about three inches open so we go on to sew it here everyone go and sew a quarter of an inch all around all around out to here very easy so you don't need to watch me sewing a quarter of an inch seam allowance everyone i have sewed all around and i left it here three inches um so remember this uh sticky thing now like that we're going to trim that And in this opening, you can just um, press. 
You're gonna inside out. Remember when you when you sew before you sew it around, make sure you do unzip the zipper in here, okay? Because if not, I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> when it closes, it's hard to open. It you'll be able to open, but it's gonna take a long time. Right is the corner of this. I'm gonna okay, and then I'm going to go put this down all the way, and I'm going to. You see? From here, I'm gonna go slide and you don't see it anyway. You can change this color into blue if you want, but I like it white. Look at how cute this is, everyone. And then in the back here, you have the zipper too. That was something else. You can put the phone in here. It's on, and then when you put the phone in here or whatever you put it in here, you can close it. So here I have cut 45 inches long and 4 inches wide, okay? And then I fold it in half, and then the two top like this, I fold it together, and then you fold it again, okay? Like this. You're going to sew the top all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Okay, and the bottom all the way. That's for the strap, everyone. So after I sew on this, okay, so you go going to, I have this one right here. You can purchase, and check in my description, have the whole bunch of different color. So go in one side like that, and then the quarter of an inch, you're going to fold it back in. Go sew this. Okay, so after I sew in this one side, I'm going to clip it in here for one side of this, okay? And you're going to make sure this facing in, okay? And then make sure this one don't twist. I'm going to place this in here. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that it doesn't twist, okay? Like this. So facing like this, okay? And... Go to here and make sure I'm going in here. Go all the way to this. You can move it down if you want. So go into here, okay? So go in the back. Move this up a little bit. So you have to make room for this one to go in. Going in like this. 
and then go into the other side of the buckle like the bar right here make sure this one going in to this bar right here okay so when it in here you're going to check and see if this good okay you go going to turn this a uh, quarter up and in fold it a quarter up and in fold it back one more time and only take one side of this you sew this in you can hand sew this if you want okay everyone so now i finished i sewed this one okay and it's staying in and then this one right here sewed it into okay and it adjustable so you can do uh, long short whatever okay to fit you so you can make it longer by going this way okay and it make it shorter you when you pull on this side eight and a half inches and the y side is six inch and oh just like six inches okay in the back here you can put your cell phone it's long enough to put, put the cell phone in here so this is six inches or six inches and then in the front you can put the you know a wallet or whatever i have a wallet in here it's i know it's not mass but i'm just showing you okay just put it in here and then you can just snap the button in the back just keep everything safe Thank in there you, everyone and on the side here with the zipper here you can add more more thing in here too you see so cute very handy stay safe everyone thank you so much for watching continue to support my channel like share and subscribe and also click on the like button to support my channel and thank you for the people who watch my second channel and subscribe to the second channel and my son channel too and thank you so much for the people who send me a warm comment about my brother i know it will take time but um, youtube will keep me busy and um, that help a little bit Thank you so much, everyone. Love you. Stay safe.